Update. A friend tried to kiss my partner for a TikTok challenge, but I'm the bad guy? Original post. One of my friends that I know ever since we were in high school, we are both 22 now, has started to take an interest in TikTok. She already has a big Instagram following, so she decided to try something new and participated in a few challenges. Our friend group is supportive of her decision, even though the opinions on TikTok as a whole vary from person to person, from liking the app through being indifferent to disliking it with passion. Well, now we think my friend has crossed a line that I'm not sure I can forgive, but just like the opinions on the app are different among our friend group, some of the girls are saying that she just participated in a challenge and I should chill out. This TikTok friend decided to kiss my boyfriend on camera as a kiss my friend and see the reaction challenge. She was always pretty close to my boyfriend, which I didn't mind since she's my friend and I trust my boyfriend to not get shady with my friends. My partner told me about what she tried to do right away. He literally sprinted out of her house and called me. He didn't know that it was for a challenge, but even when he learned about it from her because she was calling us both to clear up the misunderstanding, he wasn't happy about that and I don't blame him. I wasn't either. We both decided that it's better to cut her out of our lives, even if for a little while to cool down. But my friend group is saying that while they can understand my boyfriend, they can't understand my reaction and that I should be grateful that my TikTok friend showed me how loyal my partner is to me through this experience. They have been making me out to be the bad guy for the past few days because I'm abandoning them and breaking girls' code for a guy. I don't know. I feel like I didn't need her to test my boyfriend first of all. Second of all, as a friend, she just shouldn't throw herself at my partner. And third of all, she shouldn't throw herself at anyone that she knows has a significant other. That's just scum in my book. But apparently, I'm in the minority with my opinion. I know my boundaries, so I guess I just turned here for some kind of confirmation? Advice on what to do not only with my TikTok friend, but also with the whole friend group. That's six years of history together. Part of me doesn't want to throw it away, but I'm just so disappointed and betrayed. Now for the top advice before reading the update. To echo what you've already said, she didn't do you a favor because you didn't need her to test your boyfriend's loyalty. I distanced myself from any friends to try to convince you that this was at all helpful or something you should be grateful for, along with the girl who pulled this stunt to begin with. A real friend would do this to you. And it's funny how they bring up testing his loyalty while she was the one actually betraying your trust. It is too. You're a thousand percent justified in removing this person from your life. You're not a bad guy here. She put internet clout before your friendship. This. Also, I find it shady that she picked Opie's boyfriend of all people. Surely she has single friends she could have tried to kiss instead? Why did she go for the obviously taken one? Disrespectful and weird. Some people only want the unreachable, forbidden, taken, because it's too easy to get the obvious choices. I didn't realize girl code allowed a girl to kiss her friend's taken man for views, likes, whatever they have on TikTok. You are in no way the bad guy. Forget about girl code. Has this girl never heard of consent? I would be so angry if a friend just kissed me, whether I have a partner or not. Years ago, I had a crush on a friend. We were pretty flirty and we had a moment. I asked if I could kiss her and she left but said yes. Afterwards, she told our friend group that it asked before I kissed her. It became a joke. Fifteen years later, everyone now knows about consent. And I don't feel like such a weirdo for asking. Doesn't seem innocent at all. Time to find new friends. They're all trash. This. Those friends are full of BS. To me, the point of that meme is meant to be that someone kisses their friend. And half the time the friend is into them and kisses them back. It's not at all innocent to do it to someone in a relationship. That's messed up. To be honest, in my opinion, it's kind of a salty to do it to anyone without warning them. Though a lot of people recognize the music and know it's coming. And now for the update. First of all, I want to say that I'm really thankful for all the comments I received under my previous post. I was kind of scared of the reaction I would get from here, thinking most people would agree with my friends on this matter. I guess they really got to my head a little, as the only support that I've had aside from my boyfriend. I've read through all of the comments and messages I've gotten, which helped me a lot with understanding what I need to do. Before dropping the news to my former friend group about me wanting to go no contact with them, I decided to talk with my boyfriend once again. A lot of you pointed out, rightfully, that my TikTok friend literally assaulted him. I told my partner about my decision of cutting off the TikTok friend at anyone that's defending her and assured him that I will stand by him when he decides what he personally wants to do with her. 
I showed him the post I've made because I wasn't sure if he even realized that he was a victim of sexual impropriety, since my country is still stuck in this backward thinking that men can't be taken advantage of. My partner told me that he needs some time to think about the steps he would like to take against my ex-friend. But first of all, he wants to make sure that she's not going to post the video that she took of them on her TikTok. Now to the fun part. I told my former friend group that I decided to no longer keep in touch with TikTok friend and anyone that's on her side. I also added that my boyfriend doesn't consent to releasing the TikTok she has taken with him. The TikTok friend quickly responded that him not giving her consent doesn't matter her, since it's a video not taken for commercial purposes. Other friends chimed in that she doesn't need your toy's consent to post a video of hers. We've started to argue, with me saying that this is illegal and them saying that nobody cares. So now, aside from updating you all on what has happened since last time, I'm asking for a final advice. I guess not only for myself, but on my boyfriend's behalf. He already told me that if she does post a TikTok, he will deal with her, even if it means taking her to the court over it, which I completely support. But our question is, would it be very petty if we will post my original story to our social media accounts while tagging my ex-friends? We do realize that it's pretty childish. But at this point, we are thinking about taking our little revenge on them, since consent has no importance to them, apparently. Would it be worth it, though? I would advise against it. Just keep an eye on her TikTok. And if she posts the video, go to TikTok directly and ask for it to be taken down. Yeah, I guess our emotions are still running high. Thank you. Try to download it first so you have proof that it actually happened. Don't post anything on social media. Wait for her to stupidly post her TikTok, then contact support and a lawyer. Depending on the laws in your country, we haven't specified where you are from, so I can't give that much of an advice on that. Watch her be cancelled for forcing herself on someone, and her TikTok career being ruined before it even started. That would be the best revenge. Take care. Oof, this is a tough one. First of all, props to you and your partner for being brave enough to cut them off and discuss what happened. I wouldn't personally recommend posting on social media, especially if you explicitly name them. Mainly due to you and your partner considering taking legal action if they post a video. It could have ramifications on you guys. I would gather all the evidence of what happened, get a solid timeline in order, and keep supporting your partner. Good luck to you both. Also, there are lots of resources online for men who are victims of violations if you need assistance. You're probably right about the possible repercussions. Thank you. Next story is titled, Roommate Calls My Boyfriend Our Boyfriend. I-19 female have been dating my boyfriend Will, 20 male, for about 6 months now. We have been in relationships before, but this is definitely my first serious and healthy one, and I'm really happy with him. We met in our hometown, but we go to different universities that are about two hours apart. However, we try to see each other whenever we can, maybe about every three weeks. Usually, Will will come and visit me because A, he has a car so it's cheaper slash more convenient for him, plus bus routes between our cities no longer exist since Greyhound shuttered. B, a lot of his courses are still online only, whereas I have in-person lectures. And C, my house is a lot nicer than his. Whenever he visits, he stays for four to five days, which my roommates are okay with. He's also very nice and helpful. If I'm doing chores, he'll help, or he'll help take out the trash slash wash dishes, slash make me breakfast, etc. One of my roommates, Kaz, 19 female, was dumped near the end of September, and since then, I felt like she has been weird with Will. A few examples. 1. Sometimes he'll cook for me if I'm busy at school or working late at the lab, and oftentimes he'll make enough for my roommates too. Almost every time this happens, Kaz makes comments about how he's so sweet and that she wishes she had someone like him, and how her ex could never. Will and I usually reassure her and say she'll definitely find someone who'll treat her right, but she just looks at him expectantly. Expecting what? I don't know. Two, when it helps with manly stuff like taking out the trash, installing a hook in my room, moving heavy things, she always makes sure to linger around and comment about how strong he is and how I'm lucky to have such a fit partner. Three, whenever he visits, we literally can't avoid her. If we go out, Kaz will ask to come with. My roommates and I use an app that tracks our location for safety reasons. And when I go out with Will and don't tell her, she'll usually text me asking me what I'm doing, what my plans are, if I want to hang out, etc. I try to stay in my room, but if Will goes into the kitchen or something, Cass will always happen to wander in. We have to lock my bedroom door when we sleep to make sure she doesn't come in. For I'm not much of a drinker, but after our midterms, Cass wanted to have a little thing with just the roommates. 
It was fun. We drank a little and watched movies. I'm pretty lightweight, so I got sloshed pretty fast. And at some point, I was calling Will. And when Kaz found out I was calling him, he was like, Is that Will? And kept ripping the phone from my hands very aggressively. She's a lot stronger than I am. And really loudly started talking about her intimate life and asking him about his. Saying things like, Make sure you hit it deep. This is pretty in character for Kaz who claims to enjoy making people uncomfortable and makes these kinds of comments for shock value. But I felt like she should have turned it off around my boyfriend. She was only tipsy at this point, not really drunk. Overall, any time is nice to her. She'll say things like, Haha, it's almost like you're my boyfriend. And whenever she refers to him around me, she'll call him our boyfriend as a joke. But I still feel weird about it. Will finds this all very uncomfortable and tries his best to avoid Cass as best as he can or shut her down when she makes those comments. I'm not sure if I should bring it up with her, because on one hand, I'm very uncomfortable, but on the other hand, I feel like she'll just deny everything, or say it's all for jokes and maybe get hostile with me. Any advice appreciated. Yeah, you're gonna have to have a serious talk to her about those boundaries. Won't be easy, and she probably wouldn't take it well. But other than that, all you can do is find a new place, sadly. Yeah, I think I'll have to. I have some issues with confrontation and Cass is very confrontational and aggressive, so I've been putting it off. But enough is enough. The trick with confrontation is first, to not think about it as something you're good or bad at it. It's a conversation, and if it doesn't go well, it's not indicative of you being bad at something. Second, remember that you are going to have a lot more difficult conversations in your life than this. Rip that bandaid off and talk to her. Third, if she starts getting emotional or aggressive, try to continue talking to her like she's being reasonable. Energy matches energy. If you meet her at her level, it can dissolve into an unproductive screaming match. I learned this trick with my mom. Whenever I feel like she's being mean and ridiculous, I kind of smile and say, Okay, I'll think about what you said. Obviously, I won't. Lol. It's very hard for someone to continue the energy of yelling and getting emotional, but the recipient isn't feeding it. Fourth, uncomfortable messages can be delivered in a kind tone. Fifth, next time she tries to crash your date night, just say that, sorry, it's a date night. So excited. Catch you later. Again, treat the situation as if she's being reasonable and don't engage slash feed into her madness. I don't know if approaching this head on with someone who seems to be teetering on the edge of logical thought is the best approach. And instead, I'd probably employ what my therapist calls the broken record method. Next time she asks to come out with you, for example, say something along the lines of what someone else commented of, no, this is our time and we are long distance, so I'm cherishing the time I get with my boyfriend alone. If you would like to spend time with me later, like after he leaves town, I'd love to do that with you. Whatever your answer is, stick to it with a little variation. This is super important. Don't engage with any ludicrous or provocative comments she makes. Just continue to repeat yourself until you either get an OK or F you, or something in between. But do not budge. Do the same things when she makes comments about our boyfriend. I'm so happy that you enjoy my boyfriend being around Kaz. It really helps strengthen the relationship between the two of us that he can come visit me. So I'm glad you like him being here to visit me. And say whatever you choose as closely as you can every single time, only changing to account for context. An upfront confrontation could nuke your living situation. So I try this first and see what firm and moving and caring reminders of your boundaries do for the situation. This is a really good idea, actually. And you're spot on about Kaz being a little unreasonable. She's known to just verbal diarrhea when confronted. Can your boyfriend look her in the eye at some point and just be blunt? Maybe something like, you know I'm not interested in you, right? I actually feel like this will be pretty effective. I'll definitely talk to him about it. Last story. My best friend jokingly leaned her head up to kiss my boyfriend. I-23 female have been with my boyfriend 36 male for a little over a year. I moved in with him a couple months ago. My best friend, 24 female, came over last weekend to hang out for a while. She had it come over for a really long time, because at a barbecue my boyfriend and I hosted a few months prior to all of this, she decided it would be a good idea to test his loyalty to me in front of our friends, co-workers and family by very obviously flirting. I was beyond upset. It almost ended our friendship, but was assured that it was just lack of good judgment as well as excess alcohol and weed. Well, this last weekend she came over and we were watching a show. My boyfriend was leaving for an errand and came to kiss me before I left. When he was walking out as he passed her, she leaned her head up chokingly to get a kiss as well. I glared at her and it was a pretty awkward vibe until she left. I don't know what to do. 
We've been friends for 11 years, and I don't want to lose her. But I feel like she's trying to get in between my relationship. If I can't trust her in my house with my boyfriend around, then how can we even be friends? I'm honestly really heartbroken because she's my only friend, and I don't think we'd ever be in this situation. I'd love some advice. Thank you. This is pretty telling, honestly. I'm wondering how much else you've let this friend get away with prior to this. Maybe knowingly, with her being your only friend at all. Simply put, she's not your friend. No friend would put you in this situation or behave the way she is, making you feel the way you are. Multiple time, no less. It seems like she's not expecting you to do anything about it because she's counting on you being weak and desperate for all that wholesome friendship only she can give you. I think it's about time to prove her wrong. It's never too late to make actual friends. I had a friend just like this. The type of friend who would do anything and everything to get with a guy I liked. She's no longer a friend, nor has she met my husband. Not because I don't trust him, because I would probably end up smacking her if she tried anything. So she apologized for her inappropriate behavior the first time, then proceeded to be inappropriate again? It's time to set some firm boundaries. Something's wrong with her. It sounds like the boundary was already set the first time. This feels like the consequence of stage. Seems like she's jealous and trying to sabotage your relationship. Does not sound like a healthy person to be in a friendship with. I'd bolt. Thank you.